Welcome back to DXB Today and our 100th episode. Happy 100th birthday to us, I Happy guess. Happy 100. Uh, now, some of the biggest stars in the NBA were in the UAE recently for an open practice and to meet their fans, one of them being Katie Overy. She was lucky enough to shoot some hoops with the stars of the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Dallas Mavericks before they played a game for their fans. Following the history-making NBA debut in the Arabian Gulf last year, the NBA Abu Dhabi Games is back. It is two preseason games between the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Dallas Mavericks. We're at the Etihad Arena and we're just about to catch up with a few of the players. People have been amazing. It's a stunning country. Um, just being out, and we yesterday uh, went to the mosques and cultural experience for our guys. Um, you know, facilities have been first class, so we're really looking forward to the rest of our time here. How then do you prepare the teams? Obviously, as you say, you've got your experienced players, then you've got the, the young guns who yeah. you've got to deal with jet lag and such. How yeah. are you preparing for that? Yeah, the, the jet lag issue hasn't been too bad. I mean, the guys, you know, uh, have been really energetic at practice, uh, trying to get on schedule as quickly as we possibly can. Possibly can. Um, we travel a lot in the in the league, so we're kind of used to bouncing around and, and playing. It's been a blessing, it's been an honor. Uh, my very first time out here, so uh, experiencing new things. Uh, we have all welcomed us with open arms and we're really appreciative. What are your new things you've experienced so far in Abu Dhabi? Well, I've never held an owl before, <laughs> so that was great, or a falcon, so it was cool. First time riding a camel. It was awesome, and uh, we haven't really ventured out of our hotel as much. We've been more so of just uh, getting to know our surroundings a little bit and uh, uh, staying at the hotel and being with our, our family and our friends and, and uh, the NBA uh, uh, family. So uh, I pr I'm pretty sure after the first game, we'll be able to venture out a little bit more and uh, get to experience a lot more things. Luca, there's loads of Slovenians in the UAE. Are you looking forward to having those fans here this week? So there's a lot of Slovenians. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a good community here. I mean, hopefully it's gonna be cool, you know. I never played here, never been here, so so far it's been amazing. And if you see the Slovenian flag in the crowd, I would like that. Talk to me about your pre-game ritual, your music, your food, your habits, your good luck things. What do you do? Uh, kind of every game day, I do the same thing from start to finish. So uh, the biggest thing is. Uh, Pre-game nap, that's the, main, that's the main key to my day. Pre-game napping and eat some type of pasta before the game to get me going. Give me another go. Give me, I'm in. Okay, I'm in. Oh, I hit the rim. It's been amazing here down in the Etihad Arena, the NBA Abu Dhabi Games. I cannot wait. See you soon. Incredible way to go. Katie, three points for Katie. Woo! All right, don't forget you can watch all our exclusive interviews unedited, the full version on our YouTube page. Plus all the behind the scenes from the studio so you can see what we're up to. Just make sure you're subscribed and also please make sure to follow us on our Instagram. And as always, use the hashtag DXB today to let us know what's happening in and around the city. That's about it from us on our 100th episode. Thanks so much indeed for joining us for this rather special edition. Tomorrow we're talking all things e-commerce with some of the very best in the business. Yep, and we will leave you with this amazing soul number by international performing artist Sean Lipsy. <laughs> Got me good, 
This ain't the last round. Call me while love was down. I thought twice before you stepped up to me and played me for a fool. I got an uppercut, cut, that's enough. No matter what said, I'm stronger than I've ever been. Stronger, I won't go down. I'm stronger to it, I've been there before. Lost some battles, promise you I will win the war. Cause I'm stronger. Yeah. See, what you've seen is obvious. Been beaten. Battered and bruised, broken, disappointed, even been used. Enemies scrape you from the bottom of the shoes. Everybody ain't an American superstar. A multi billionaire embrace who you are. My superhuman strength comes from the inside. I might seem dead, but I'm still alive. No matter what's said, I'm stronger than I've ever been. Stronger, I won't go down. Stronger to win, I've been there before. Lost some battles, promise you I will win the war. Cause I'm stronger, I won't go down any. I know this strength may seem may believe, but it's hard to believe. But the reality is, you've been doing so much pain. You will never feel defeat again, yeah, 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 yeah. No matter what said, I'm stronger than I've ever been. Stronger, I won't go down. Stronger to it, I've been there before. Lost some battles, promise you I will win the war. Cause I'm stronger, I won't go down in. I know the strength may seem make believe, and it's hard to believe, but the reality is. No matter what's said, I'm stronger than I've ever been. Stronger, I won't go down. I'm stronger to win, I've been there before. Lost some battles, promise you I will win the war. Cause I'm stronger Yeah, yeah